this is something you should probably know before going. So today's ride spot I'm going to review is Appalachia Bay's Recreational Trails at Lake Keystone in Oklahoma. Keystone Lake, whatever. Um, it's next to a beautiful lake. It's on a peninsula of sand so you can ride along the beach and then there's rocks and uh, gravel and dirt you can ride in the trees more inland. 600 acres. Um, it's $5 per vehicle to ride. There's camping. Um, there's boat marinas. It's it's a really cool spot. That being said, I got some footage of a, a recent trip I took there. We rented an Airbnb. Um, it was a really cool place, and it was about 20 minutes away from the ride spot. As you can see here to my left, the beautiful sunrise over Keystone Lake. Um, I'd never been there before, and it was a really cool spot. We got um, something about uh, riding near the water in the summer. It just does it for me. So here you can tell uh, it's actually, uh, I mean, it's right on the water. This is where we stayed uh, overnight. And then let me fast forward to here, did a little fishing. So this is the entry into Appalachia Bay. Now, some people may not tell you this, but there is an entry point to access this uh, ride area. And this is it right here. So... This is something you should probably know before going. And you can tell right now there's dirt bikes going in. I'm on a rancher, a four-wheeler, and this is a dirt bike, that's a dirt bike. This guy's on a quad, that's a bike, another bike. No problem getting through. There is footage of here, uh, footage of this, where guys in side-by-sides, stock width side-by-sides, are barely screeching by. You can see there's some black marks up here, um, and they're just barely squeezing by. So that being said, you got to keep that in mind. They make it through, but you're going to have to do some rubbing. And if you're one of these people that wants to keep their machine in perfect condition and not, not get it dirty, which is what it's for, stay at home. But this is a cool spot. See, like, I mean, there's boats everywhere. This is just beach sand, you know, like dune sand. The closer you get to it, the more uh, packed it is, and it's a lot easier to ride. We took pit bikes, and the rancher, like I said, um, went for a buddy's birthday, and this is what we did. We just rode around. This is the Fat Tire FSE 190 from Pitster Pro, brand new. You can check that video out, video out on my channel, uh, B Shipman Films. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, like I said, more info on that bike there. And just regular summer day. A lot of fun riding. I've got a couple of shots of what the trails are like inside. We didn't do a lot of uh, trail riding uh, with the camera because it's pretty aggressive for such little machines. And I've, I had a passenger with me my girlfriend. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is pretty much the bulk of the beach riding. Nice little water section. Like I said, we went to go enjoy ourselves at the water. Um, we did a little bit of trail riding. Let's see if we can find what those trails look like. It gives you a good indication of what this place can turn into, uh, you know, once you get more inland. So as you can see back in here, um, there's a lot of trees. Well, that's pretty much what it's like behind me where the camera was set up and that's where you do all the riding. So back in here, I mean, it just goes up and down and there's pretty good rock ledges. Um, it would put a razor to the test in some spots, a bone stock, you know, two seater. Um, and you can weave in and out of these trails right here. Really fun place to check out. Now, like I said, this is, um, a skinny trail, but the other trails are a lot wider and you have more of this stuff in the way. So you've really got to be able to crawl up it. Um, I saw a lot of bikes, I saw a lot of, of quads, a lot of UTVs, four seater vehicles. I don't know how they got through there, but uh, like I said, there's only one access point. They may have just pushed it and kind of, you know, winched themselves up over with all the pressure and the, uh, you know, power. So um, this is a little dose of what it's like. That's a 140 SSR, so he's got the motor and the experience to make it up it. Um, but yeah, that's that's Appalachia Bay. Had a great time. Um, you cannot ride at night there. Every place that I've told you about in these reviews so far is a place you can ride at night. Every place but this that I review is going to be like that so far. My next spot is going to be Little Sahara. That place you can ride 
all the time. Davis, you can ride day and night. Disney, day and night. Um, but this place, they shut it down at sun t- at uh, sundown. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, that's it for Ride Spot Reviews. I'm Blake Shipman. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think, and give me a ride spot you think I've been to that you want to hear a, re- a review about. Maybe ask a question that no one else has answered on their video on the YouTube stuff. Let me know. I'll respond. Thanks, guys.